Okay, welcome, grade 12. You've made this far. So this is our the, the second part of our lecture for this week, electric field. So the lear learning competencies for this topic are as follows. Okay, so, so mag-recall muna tayo kung ano yung na-discuss natin doon sa previous lecture natin. Okay, so we have discussed about Coulomb's law. Okay? So, the Coulomb's law, ang equation na ginagamit po natin dyan is K, Q1, Q2 over R squared. So, K is equals to the first, uh, Coulomb's law or uh, Coulomb's constant or the proportionality constant which is 8.988 times 10 raised to 9 Newton meter squared over Coulomb squared. Pero ang gagamitin na lang po natin dyan is 9 times 10 raised to 9 Newton meter squared over Coulomb squared. Okay, so force is the unit to be used is Newtons. Okay, as well as we also discuss about the law of electrostatic force. So this law states that light charges repel and opposite charges attract. Okay, so the attraction of this, it could be uh, mathematically defined doon sa ating Coulomb's law. Okay? So, this on this part of our lecture, we would be um, discussing naman on how we describe, okay, the uh, force, okay, uh, exerted by an or a charge, okay? So, through the use of electric field, okay? Electric field is discovered by the scientist Michael Faraday, okay? He defined electric field um, using lines, okay? Which is an imaginary line or curve that drawn with uh, through the region or, or space so that its tangent at any point is in the direction of the electric field vector at that point. Point. Kasi ang mga charges kasi hindi po yan katulad ng um, forces natin sa physics 1 na tinulak mo, nag-apply nag force ka, kaya siya gumalaw. Dito kay um, electric charges, electric fields, and electric forces, um, kaya nagkakaroon ng interaction with one charge to another is dahil sa field lines or sa imaginary fields na meron sila. So kay electrons and protons, they have imaginarily imaginary fields uh, that is what we call electric fields and represented by electric field lines. Okay? So electric field can be mathematically defined as E, okay, is equals to force over uh, the magnitude of the charge or can either be the test charge, okay? So, meaning based from this equation, we can conclude that electric field is equal or electric field is the a force, okay, per unit charge, okay? It is measured in terms of Newton per Coulomb, okay? So, the unit for electric field is Newton per Coulomb. Okay, another um, equation for electric field based from Coulomb's law, okay, if we substitute the value of uh, the Coulomb's law to F, our F, it is equals to KQ over um, test charge over point charge or, uh, at multiplied by test charge and point charge over the distance squared. So, makakancel yung isang charge. So, matitira na lang po sa atin ay E is equals to K which is the Coulomb's constant, equals to 9 times 10 raised to 9. Okay? Multiply by Q, which is our point charge over R squared. Okay? So, electric field can be illustrated through electric field lines. And every charge particle, meron po yung distinct field line na present sa kanya. For, um, specifically, kay protons and kay electrons. 
So, ano yung itsura ng electric field lines ni proton sa kani electrons? Okay? Kapag positive yung charge mo, kapag proton siya, ang field line niya is directed outward. Okay? Directed outward the charge. Okay? Just like this diagram. Kapag negative naman yung charge mo, or kapag isa siyang electron, ang direction ng kanyang field line is towards, okay, papunta doon sa charge. So kapag ang dalawang to ay nagkaroon ng interaction, okay, sabi nga natin, unlike or opposite charges attract, so ano yung nangyayari sa field lines nila? So nagiging ganito yung itsura. Okay, so positive, negative, they attract each other, the field lines has combined. Okay, so in this way, or in this diagram, magkakaroon tayo ng electric dipole. So ganito yung itsura ng electric field line kapag meron po tayong dipole. Dipole meaning meron tayong dalawang poles, isang positive, isang negative. Okay, paano naman po pag pareho yung charges nila? So pag pareho yung ang value ng charge nila or pareho silang positive, pareho silang negative, since according to electrostatic force, like char charges repel, so nagre-repel din, okay? hindi nag-meet yung kanilang mga electric field lines. Okay? So, sa electric field lines, kapag magkaiba ng uh, charge, So, nakaka-create po tayo ng electric dipole. So, yung susunod nating i-discuss is yung mga keynotes na um, kailangan nating tandaan in illustrating electric field vectors and electric field lines. Okay? So, let's start with this one, the first um, rule. Okay? Field line must be tangent. Okay? So, mayroon tayong kailangang tandaan dito. Test charge, okay, and point charge. So what is the difference, okay, between these two types of charges, test charge and point charge? Yung point charge, mga kapatid, para itong mga, parang ito ay point of reference, okay? So para siyang point of reference, in what way? Kasi ito yung charge talaga, okay? Ito yung charge talaga na present sa isang atom. For example, these two, these uh, two uh, kinds of charges, a positive charge and negative charge, this is considered as point charge. Kasi sila po ay, okay, makikita natin talaga na present doon sa atom na yon, Okay? So, point charge can be denoted also by big letter Q. Okay? So, point charge po yun. How about test charge? Based from its name, test. Okay? Meaning, itong charge na to, ginagamit natin. Okay? Ginagamit natin para malaman kung ano yung charge ng isang point charge. For example, hindi mo alam na positive to. Okay? Hindi mo alam na positive to. Naglagay ka dito ng test charge. Okay? Yung tendency ng test charge is mag-move Okay, positive test charge. Naglagay ka ng positive test charge dyan. Okay, hindi mo alam na positive to. Yung line ng test charge mo, nag-move away. Okay, dun sa point charge mo. So, meaning, nag-repel siya. Okay, nag-repel siya doon sa... Um, uh, nag-repel siya dito sa point charge mo. So, meaning, malalaman mo using the test charge yung value or, or yung kung positive or negative yung point charge mo. Kaya nga po siya tinawag na test charge. Okay? So, ang field line, okay, ang field line ng test charge with respect to a point charge is always tangent. So, for example, yan, may meron tayong point charge. So, naglagay tayo ng isang test charge. So, ang tendency niyan, magkaroon ng arrow directed tangent to our field line. Okay? Yung field line ng ating uh, point charge. Okay? 
So, kailangan pa rin nating i-take into consideration kung siya ay positive or negative. Kasi yung test charge natin, pwede din po yung positive or negative. Okay? Second reminder in field lines. So, the greater the line density, the greater the field magnitude. Okay? So, dito meron tayong dalawang protons. Yan, meron tayong isang electrons. So, kung i-compare natin yung amount or value ng lines na distributed, okay, or nang gagaling dun sa mga charges natin. So, paglaki ng line density, okay, pagdami din ng field magnitude. So, na-double yung line dito. So, that's why yung field magnitude natin, this part, the diameter of this part is much greater, okay, compared to this uh, example. Okay, dito kasi, di ba, tigisa lang yung negative at saka positive. So, yung diameter niya, ganito lang kalaki. Okay, so dito, sa pangalawang example natin, dumami yung lines kasi dumami na yung charges. So, that's why yung diameter ng electric field natin, um, uh, with relation to our charges, is um, greater. Okay, so the third reminder is... Um, positive to negative, okay? So, positive to negative meaning opposite charges lang. Okay? Opposite charges lang po ang mag, pwedeng mag-create ng electric dipole. Okay? Positive to negative lang lagi or negative to positive. Hindi po pwedeng with relation, so ito yung last reminder natin, hindi po pwedeng kapag ka like charges sila, mag intersect yung lines nila. So, lines must never cross and intersect kapag ka po like charges. Pero pwedeng mangyari to mga, katit, mga kapatid. Yun nga lang, nakaib, mag, sa ibang reference. For example, yan. Ito yung dalawang charges nyo. So, ito yung first charge. Ito yung second charge. Kung titingnan nyo, yan. Kung titingnan nyo pa harap, mukha siyang magkapatong, di ba? Mukha, mukha siyang nag intersect Pero pag tinagilid natin siya, mayroon siyang distance. Pwedeng mangyari yung ganon. Pagka, uh, i-consider natin yung tatlong axis. Pero never mangyayari na parehong positive sila or parehong negative tas nag -criss cross yung lines nila. So, hindi yun pwede kay electric field lines. Kasi, according to electrostatic force, kailangan ma-illustrate natin ng ayos yan sa electric field lines that like charges repel one another. Okay? So now, um, we have finished our um, objective, the objective part of our lecture for electro, electric forces and um, electric fields. So, um, you can go to your Google Classroom and um, try answering the worksheet or um and you may tune into our the next part the last part of our lecture which is the computational part so on the next video magko compute po tayo ng relationship mathematical computation ng relationship ng mga charges um finding the net electric force and the net electric field but before that i want to leave this quote to you Edison failed 10,000 times before made the electric light. Do not discourage if you fail a few times by Napoleon Hill. Okay? So that would be all for the objective part of our lecture. Kindly tune in for our computational part. Okay? Good. Uh, see you with, it too, with our next video.